Hello my friend, it is time for another plan with me video. My name is Galit and today we're gonna collage and plan the new month of April. So let's start. I'm starting off with a quick flip through of March just so you can see how I filled it up. On this page we ha I have a picture of a new dog. Her name is Pixie. <laughs> and on Tuesday we went to see the dog and just to have a little meet up with a dog and see how she connects with us she's very very scared of people and of us still after almost two weeks but she is so delicate and so tiny and we already love her to death and yeah we already knew that she was perfect for us and on thursday we adopted her we already took her to the vet and she and the vet said that she's very in very very good health so we're happy about that. The next thing I'm gonna do is start with the cover page or the title page as I like to call it. And yeah, I'm starting by taking a scrap of paper from, I think it's a music sheet and this very thin scrap of paper as well. So I'm just arranging around the page and this will be the page for the event, birthday and my goals. I wanted to make this as a pocket, so I'm punching half a circle, I'm using double-sided tape, and I'm adding it as a pocket. I have this uh, cute word that says magic. I just took a scrap of paper and I rounded the corners added some washi tape and I wrote April's goals. Here I just wrote I want to upload 8 videos, post for blog posts, post more on Instagram and post more on Instagram TV, work out 3 times per week and do some yoga flows daily. I'm using uh, washi tape, it's like stamps <laughs> but with butterflies and it's so so cute, it's very very new and I just wanted to decorate the top of that page. All the pictures that I'm using I will link down below so don't worry. And here I'm just writing April events, I'm writing all the dates and all the events that I have and now I'm just writing the birthday dates. And I'm just doing the title page itself and I immediately start to collage that area, that middle and I really really love Johanna's linen and I want to use that and I'm just adding a few scraps of paper from a book and a notepad and yeah on top of that I'm just adding the title April and I made that on Canva I think. I took another scrap of thin paper and now I'm trying to collage the bottom of that area so I grabbed the washi tape and another beautiful galaxy like washi tape and I'm just trying to decorate the area to give it more color I have these cute sticky notes and I wanted to use that and it says notes in it. And I'm also adding this beautiful Hello Spring. And yeah, now I'm just adding stickers just to give everything a bit more color. I really really love this beautiful Easter like basket and I wanted to put that on that tag. I stamped before that page of the title 
and I made this pattern and yeah it turned out very very beautiful now I'm just moving to the next page and again I'm trying to keep it very simple I'm adding some washi tapes and a scrap for my magazine for my mom's old magazines it is so delicate to work with <laughs> I also have this beautiful image of a plate this beautiful image of a plate that my mom made <laughs> and she made it a while back ago and it is so beautiful it doesn't look this way right now sadly but it is beautiful and I wanted to incorporate her work inside of April the theme so just to give me more inspiration and I added a quote, you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. It's by C.S. Lewis and I love that. I took my brushable markers and I just made some lines. <laughs> Red is for my YouTube channel, purple is for my blog and blue is for home and personal things now i'm just doing the lines for the week and again i'm keeping it very very simple i just grabbed a scrap of uh, paper i cut it added another sticky note and i just throw the dates And here as usual I'm just doing with my stamps but now I'm just writing from Sunday to Saturday and I'm trying to figure out how to collage the bottom of that page and I really, really love this Canva beautiful flowers they're so cute I'm adding that circle that I've punched from before and now I'm just adding more stickers to give it more color So yeah, now I'm just writing YouTube, blog, and home. I already made the lines for the wigs, and now I'm just adding the colors and starting to collage the next week. I found this beautiful, uh, I think it's a lavender and I really want to put it in my journal so I dried it up and on the next page I really want to make like a bucket And here I have another uh, image of what my mom made a while ago. Uh, she made a huge uh, watercolor and it was so beautiful and I always enjoyed watching her doing this. So I'm just gluing everything down top of that page. And here I use double sided tape to make a pocket. And I'm just adding a beautiful washi tape of butterflies. I have this magazine image of a woman 
and I really really love that so I'm using washi tape to give it a background I'm using another washi tape of butterflies and I'm just gluing the image down and yeah I just wrote again YouTube blog home and I'm decorating the next page and I'm putting on top of that beautiful flower I'm putting another quote which said stop asking why they keep doing it and start asking why you keep allowing it So yeah, I added some washi tape at the top. At the bottom, I just add a washi tape that says, remember this, which is so true. I added another scrap of paper at the top and a label. And now I'm just adding stickers to decorate the pages. And now I'm just writing the dates and yeah this page is ready <laughs> I'm starting the next page with writing YouTube blog and home again and I'm starting to decorate this page this page I really wanted to keep the neutral colors and I wanted to keep it very very simple I got this image and I just rounded the corners, added a washi tape and just glued the picture down. And I also added this cute little quote that says cultivate kindness. And I also added this cute label with a squirrel and some washi tape. <laughs> I'm starting to collage the other side as well and as soon as I'm happy pretty much with how everything is I'm starting to glue everything down. I also added this cute washi tape that says appointment and I have this leftover scrap of paper And now I'm taking this little sticker with words and sentiments and now I'm gluing the sentiment that says love in your smile. And I'm going back to the wig page and I'm just adding some washi tape and a label. And I'm going to the last page. 
I'm starting off with some washi tapes. Here I really wanted some yellow elements, so I'm trying to put some washi tapes and images with yellow. I love this image from Canva of a yoga girl. It's so beautiful. I have this cute little leftover from the flower and I'm just adding it with some washi tapes and also at the weekly page I'm just adding some more room for notes and another little image of a to-do list. I have the stickers with some round stickers on it, so I'm using the blue and the yellow. And at the top I love this sunflowers image. I love sunflowers. They always represent happiness and summer and sun. So yeah, I'm decorating the top of that page, I'm adding some images with flowers as well. Uh, washi tape and some label and I'm just writing the dates and I'm adding the word spring on that image and I'm going straight for my next layout and this one I didn't do last month but I really needed and wanted to do for this one and I think this one is my favorite one <laughs> and I'm starting to collage these pages and I didn't want to put any thought I just grabbed any scrap that I felt like and added it on top of that page I like collaging a huge master board but in your notebook <laughs> I had so much fun doing this page and I think this is by far my favorite one. I'm using another linen from Johanna's I put another sentiment here that said I think you should just go for it <laughs> and that is so true <laughs> I love this image of a hand holding a book. It is just perfect for this page, I think. I have this beautiful flower from Canva and I really wanted to add it on top of that page. And I'm adding another cute image that says, have a good week, try your best, okay? And I believe in you. And that is so important to remind ourselves. I'm adding this beautiful washi tape of the moon phases. 
and on top of that I'm adding another gorgeous washi tape with the moon phases this washi tape is beautiful on top of that linen I'm just writing word count for April and here as you can see I'm distressing I went back and I wanted to distress that beautiful pattern that I made so that is what I'm doing right now And again, I'm just decorating the pages with washi tape, giving a bit more color. And yeah, after that I'm just writing week 1, week 2, week 3 and week 4. Under the week title I'm just writing the dates and yeah, the page is done. So yeah, these are my finished pages. I really really love how they turned out and I'm just adding washi tapes <laughs> and some stickers again And I'm just highlighting the April goals. I really really love this pattern that came out even though I made a mistake but that's okay and yeah the next page again is so beautiful and I love that I've used my mom's work it gives us a bit it gives it a bit more personal element here and I always enjoy looking at her images. The next page is very simple but very very beautiful and the next week after that I love that I have tons of space to write and I've added a bit more with my pictures that I've added and the last page of my word count is I think one of my favorite pages so far it came out so beautiful and it has tons of space for me to write that is all for my April plan with me I hope you enjoy it
Before you leave, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps so much with the YouTube algorithm and everything. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Click on the video that is showing on your screen right now and go watch the March Plan With Me video if you missed that. And I will also link the playlist so you can enjoy even more Plan With Me videos.